Welcome to Indian Movie Recap. Today we are going to see a 2007 Hindi drama film named Guru. The beginning of the film is set in 1951 in a small village of Idar in northern Gujarat. Where a young man named Gurukant Desai dreams of making it big someday. His father Kantilal, the headmaster of the village school, tells him not to dream and that dreams never come true. He fails in his exams. Guru decides to go to Turkey and enter the spice trade. He learns everything related to trading, followed by a blue collar job with Burma Shell. He works for 7 years in Turkey. Later, he is promoted but refuses the job. When asked reason, Guru says if the English people likes my work then why should I work for them? He wants to work for himself. He is demotivated by others. But Guru is strong in his decision. A young lady escapes her house with the intention of running away with her boyfriend. But when she reaches the railway station, she receives a letter from her boyfriend who gave up on her in the last minute. Heartbroken Sujata boards the next train with no hope. Guru returns to his village. On the way in train he meets Sujata. He finds out about her problems. She is taken back to her village in next station. Guru reaches his village and meets his father. He presents him a watch. His father is happy with his son. This happiness does not last long after Guru says he has left his job in Turkey. His father tries to convince him but Guru was strong in his decision. His father gives him the watch back saying keep this watch it will help you to see the time of your destruction. Guru plans to start a business but he didn't have enough money. One day he asks his friend to be a partner in his business. His friend rejects this saying his father will not give him any money as his father is saving money for his sister's marriage. It turns out that Sujata was his friend's sister. Guru proposes to marry his sister. He marries Sujata mainly because of the dowry she brings him. Along with Sujata and her brother Jigesh, Guru migrates to Bombay and starts trading in cloth. Gradually, he expands his business and sets up manufacturing units of his own under the name Shakti Corporation. Nanaji Manik Das Gupta, who publishes a newspaper Swatantra, The Independent, treats Guru as his son. Guru likewise looks upon him as a father figure who supported him during his early days of struggle in Bombay. He also develops a strong friendship with Meenu, granddaughter of Nanaji. Meenu develops multiple sclerosis as she grows up and begins using a wheelchair. As Guru's business grows into one of the largest in India, he ruthlessly pursues success. He smuggles machine parts for his polyester mills, illegally creates goods, and manipulates stocks to make a higher profit. But when Nanaji learns that Guru's means of success are not always honest, he, along with a reporter of his newspaper, Shyam Saxena, decides to expose Guru's increasingly corrupt ways. The stress of his battle with the newspaper causes Guru to have a stroke. and he is paralyzed on his right side meanwhile meenu who is now married to shyam is slowly weakening from her illness and eventually dies in the end guru is brought before a private government inquiry on 16th october 1980 to defend himself against the charges pressed against him but tells the press in next day that he was an ordinary villager who didn't even understand the meaning of excise duty customs sales tax all he knew was his business but the corrupt system made sure that a villager doesn't become a rich businessman as a result he had to indulge in corrupt practices this forces the government to clear him of 27 of the 29 charges against him 
She is charged with a fine of 6.3 million rupees for the respective two charges, which are proved, and is allowed to return to his company. The movie ends with Guru telling Shakti's shareholders that his father was proven wrong as he said dreams don't turn true, but they all are now a part of India's largest company. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe for more videos.